Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I am coming at you from Hanson Grain here in Hanson, Massachusetts. And today we are checking out the Laredo Stillwater Narrow Square Toe Cowboy Boot. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm so excited to be here at Hanson Grain today checking out these Laredo boots. A couple of you have messaged me and commented asking me to try out some Laredo boots. They got lots here at Hanson Grain. So the one that I just noticed the most was this one here. It's called the Stillwater. And let's get right down to business and get our quick impression of this boot. Now, right when I picked it up, I'm just noticing how soft the leather is. Now it is a sanded, sort of distressed tan here, and it feels very, very soft. Also, you can see the narrow square toe here. It's a great look, absolutely love it. It is a Goodyear welted boot, so you should be able to resole this after this rubber wears down, but it's a pretty thick rubber outsole here. And the rubber outsole also has this design in it. It looks like you stepped on a bunch of straw and it, the straw is just in there, like little pieces of it here and there, um, which is whatever. Like I could do without it that look. It's not like that's a really important thing to have in the bottom of a boot. Also, we have a rubber heel cap that also has the straw design in it and a heel which feels like a wood heel, a lightweight wood heel. Uh, it feels nice. For the shaft here, it's like a chemical burn distressed look, kind of like you got a bunch of salt on there and it just sort of reacted with the leather or some sort of acid. It's a very distressed look. It, I mean, it's kind of cool. I haven't seen it before, but it looks great. Okay, so on the inside, we have cloth lining. It feels nice, but you guys know that I usually prefer the leather lining, but that's part of the cost savings that you get with Laredo, I believe. This boot is coming in, yep, it's coming in at around $140 here at Hanson Grain. All right, we also have an insole in here. Let's take that out and give it a look. Very similar to the insoles that you see from Ariat. Almost exactly the same. It's got that foam feel with the gel at the ball of the foot and at the heel of the foot. This is pretty much exactly the same as the ATS insole that we see from Ariat. Kind of surprised that it's so similar. I do like the fact that they sew the bottom part of this gel pad at the ball of the foot. On the ATS, you don't get that. And it's always my fear that something's gonna get under there, whether it be water or dirt, or something else and just sort of rot away and have this sort of come apart on you. So I'd have to say that this is a pretty big improvement just by looking at it from my opinion. Um, I like the fact that they sew the bottom part of this gel patch in the insole. All right, I think it's time to try this boot on. All right, this boot fits really nice and first thing that I'm noticing right off the bat is just how light the boot is. When I try a lot of boots with rubber soles and wood heels or something that's not leather as the heel, I just notice how much heavier the boot feels. But this feels great. It's really lightweight. The insole feels great too. The, the leather in the vamp is super soft and really supple. I mean, you can just see how easy it is for me to bend my foot here. Uh, this, this boot isn't gonna take a lot to break in. 
and it feels good right off the bat. I mean, I'm kind of impressed with Laredo right here. I mean, this is a quick impression, first impression, so of course I'm not gonna get the chance to actually put this boot through an in-depth review and see what it can hold up to, but just with the first impression here, it feels really nice. This boot is made in India, and I know some of us have preconceived notions of boots that come out of Asia, but I gotta say, this is a really comfortable boot, guys. All right, so I am kind of impressed with this Stillwater boot from Laredo. It fits great. For me, now I'm a 12B, and usually the boots that are made in Asia, I can get away with a 10 and a half D. This fit right into that. Like when I looked at that boot, I'm like, I'm gonna need a 10 and a half D for this. And sure enough, it fit perfectly. So if it had more of a rounded toe rather than the narrow square, I probably would have needed an 11, but the square toe in the 10 and a half D fit perfect for me. And it is a really comfortable boot. I'm still torn over the design in the rubber sole. It's kind of corny in my opinion, but it will probably wear away pretty quickly if you are using these for work on a regular basis. Super light, it's cooler than I thought it would be with the cloth lining. Usually cloth lined boots are a little bit warmer, but because this leather here is soft and supple, it's, it's not as warm as I thought it was going to be. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Laredo Stillwater boot down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you're coming through Hanson, definitely stop by Hanson Grain here and check out all of the awesome boots that they have right here in this location. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Well, I thought the rubber outsole was a little corny. Not interested in fake printed straw. Still, this Laredo may have been for me. So I look forward to testing one on the long haul. Yeah, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Huge thanks to Hanson Grain for letting me do those videos there. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.